Exiv. Maito Senpuji, it's time for the hero to fall. It's no good. The Dimensional Horizon is collapsing. Is this the end of the world? All right, we are back. Let me get some uh, bookkeeping done on my end. Real quick. That is taken care of. So we are back. All right. So we have two. So last time, things managed to go super pear shaped again at the end of the mission. Um. So we didn't do much customization we, uh, at the end of the last time. So. We have one or two possible new story missions here. Um, so we have two different versions of the Eva, of Eva Unit One here. I don't know how stat rise they relate to each other. Ghost, we need to upgrade your accuracy a bunch. Conga Bean 2, actually. Let's hit your weapons next. Right, let's hit a bunch of our go-tos. Oh, you, actually, you're squishy. You're gonna get more health. Double Zeta, you need more armor, but I can't upgrade your armor any further right now. So... We're good there. When's the next story? When's the next, um... Forty is the next... So after this, the next main story mission. So, you have two possible... I can worry about that. Uh, two possible sub-missions or special missions after this. We'll see if we've unlocked them. One of them is basically get you the Gurren Goose and the Huckabee if you, ha if you haven't already purchased the DLC. Um, I don't know. Oh, and the second one is related to the Eva and to Shinji, and I think I've unlocked that one. So we'll see what's coming up next. Okay, so we're going straight to the Shinji special mission, which I unlocked last time. Huh? Where am I? We're in the Nerve Medical Ward. Misato. After the battle was over, you lost consciousness. You were out for a whole day. How are Ayanami and Asuka and the world? Kari. So you finally wake up and you're already whining. Well, this is much better than how things turned out with us uh, rebuild movie three. Let's just say it that way. Ayanami, Asuka, you're okay. Who do you think I am? Well, for starters, you're a character from Akara. Oh no, 
you're Goran Logan was Gynax and Kara hadn't formed yet. So you so I will let you get away with the Gurren Logan quote, Asuka. Like being infected by an angel would bother me. Well, it, it did actually bother you a great deal in Rebuild Film 3, but we'll leave that aside. Thank you, Akari. Ayanami, I heard your boy voice in there. It helped me come back home. It worked a lot better than my soul getting stuck in your, uh, that tape player. Well, well, you know, she's got a point, so, you know, I should thank you, I guess. Thanks, Baka Shinji. Asuka. And what about the world? Well, you are really, you really are stupid. If we're here talking to you, obviously the world still exists. Well, technically you could be on a medical bay on one of the warships, one of the cap ships. Admittedly, this is the nerve, this is the nerve medical bay at Tokyo 3, one you are intimately familiar with. So, I, you're probably fine. So the space-time fusion didn't happen? Beat. Sato. It'd probably be better for you to see with your own eyes. A lot less confrontational, a lot more willing to explain information and provide exposition to Sato than the Sato from Rebuild Film 3. Come on, Shinji. It's about time anyway. Time for what? Decide the fate of the universe. Oh... I'm in the third impact, aren't I? The geo front, the new graphic of the uh, inside of the command room, huh? What is that? Aura, she's the ancestor of the Dragon Clan who used the power of Dragonium crystals to control the dimensions. Thanks to here, the her power, the space-time fusion has been contained in a 10-kilometer circle centered here within a 10-kilometer circle centered here on Geofront. Unbelievable. Good to see you awake, Shinji. Hoji! Look at see how it's going. Aura is just barely holding back the space-time fusion. Just barely? Dory and the captain both believe that since Aura's power has limits, it's just a matter of time before it runs out. And if it happens... A space-time fusion will consume and continue, and both our universes will be consumed. What about Earth? According to Nine's analysis, both Earths will be destroyed. Not just that. In the aftermath, the colonies will go too. If it goes badly, destruction might even hit Jupiter. We've already informed the Earth Federation and Neo Zeon about the danger. Right now, the Federation government and Frontal are probably holding conferences, but I imagine the only result will be resignation. Damn it! If only we had taken out Embryo. Sorry, that, that, that voice is too deep. Damn it! If only we had taken out Embryo for real. I understand, he died right before our eyes. And then there's Leonard. He signed up with Embryo to make the space time fusion happen. What could he possibly gain by helping to destroy the planet he lives on? I don't know. Well, Embryo keeps saying he'll make a new world. What about that Exiv guy? He's the head guy we've been after. You know, there's something really eerie about that guy. You don't know who he is or what he wants, other than he's joined Embryo and Leonard in trying to destroy two universes. That monster! What was he thinking, helping Messine come back? Even without knowing his identity or goal, it's clear he's truly a great evil with no regard for human life. If only I hadn't caused the Eva's true power to awaken, it might never have happened. I could say the same thing, Shinji, if I hadn't been consumed by Zero. Oh, gee. No time to lose hope. We've got work to do if we're going to save the world. But what can we do? Well, Amanda Day is making contact with Aura right now, checking out the, si on the situation. Can she really talk to that enormous dragon? Well, the dimensional horizon around there is mint speed, so she can't get very close, but I'm sure saw Amanda Day can manage to communicate across that distance. She said she should be back right around now. But she meant by saying it being, it being around about time. She's here! How'd it go, Sala? We're right, you're right. It's Aura's power keeping the space-time fusion at bay. 
but it's expected that power isn't going to last forever. Of course. Is there any way to stop the fusion for good? As for that, Aura said, Go to Iskandar. What? How does a dragon in the Universal Century Dimension know about Iskandar? I do not know. Clearly Aura has knowledge of this place from another universe. He said that their technology would save us from this catastrophe. I wonder if it's the Cosmo Reverse. Unfortunately, Aura could tell me no more. Well, we better get going. Oh, no. Another choice do we have? Yeah, but how do we get back to our own universe? When Inez' research is done, a parallel Boson jump could be possible. And when will that be? Beat. Isn't there anything we can do? Well, no product placement for the copy machines here this time. Good. Just because Londo Bell has gone back to the Science Fortress lab, there's no reason to look so gloomy. How do I stay on standby at NERV? Because it's faster to repair Eva here at NERV. Well, something else. Everyone's run running around without knowing what they should do anyway. Well, how is Unit 1 doing? I'm in charge, and I, even I didn't know what was going to happen to that last battle. After the fight was over and you lost consciousness, Eva returned to, to normal, at least. And what does Father say? His order Ritsuko to run a full inspection. The results will determine whether we can still use it. Let's see. That alarm. We're under attack? Are we under attack? Now? An angel is coming. Seriously? That, that's fair. Object is approaching Geofront. The vault are getting reading due to interference, but it appears to be blood type blue. Maggie agrees with that conclusion. Another set of unforeseen circumstances. Cause and effect continue to be warped. Nothing should surprise us. Well then, what should we do? In the circumstances, we should call him out. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please like and subscribe. And also consider backing my Patreon. Patreon backers get episodes up to one week early of this show and any future Let's Plays. Also, please consider backing my coffee. Uh, toss me a few bucks, also helps support the show, and it's not a monthly obligation or anything like that. 